All right, uh, today is uh, the day before the day I leave and I'm just uh, giving everything a check over. Uh, so there really isn't much uh, to do here. In the engine compartment I just wanted to check to make sure that the air filter isn't entirely ruined and yeah, I had it out. It looks pretty okay. So uh, I, I probably want to be replacing this during the trip but for the time being it's fine. Can't do that one-handed. And uh, I had a look at the oil as well, and uh, it's rolled a while on this oil, but if we bring it out in the light, it's uh, basically exactly at the level I filled it up to, and it hasn't even gone pitch black yet, even though it's rolled like probably around 3,000 kilometers. Uh, it's a uh, quality oil, I believe, Delvac LE 5W30. Uh, and ever since I disconnected the EDR, the engine has seems to be running so much cleaner. So, that's excellent. I dare drive on this oil. I do have some spare in a bottle in the front, uh, just in case something goes horribly wrong. But I'm pretty confident in this engine. It just it's just been such an excellent engine thus far, zero problems. So let's just go through a bit of the stuff. Uh, we're basically looking at the final iteration of a van. I just got to uh, pack some more stuff. So uh, here's the front where I have most like emergency items. I got some uh, window cleaning stuff up there in the corner, some engine oil, WD-40, brake fluid, some brake cleaner down there, uh, tools that came with a van, warning triangle, Here's two battery chargers, one for the back, one for the front, if necessary, as well as some wiring. And uh, that's about it. Down there's the inverter, as always, but you can't see it because it's underneath a spare tyre, which should have pressure. And if it doesn't, I've got an air compressor. And uh, here's the storage compartment. Uh, I've got a couple of boxes empty on purpose. I'm going to figure stuff out along the way I need anyway. Uh, this is uh, going to put another tripod in there, uh, first aid kit, brush, what have you. So here's like a USB cords, Ethernet cable, yeah, camera stuff, all this is camera stuff, batteries, power adapters and general electronic -y, tinkery stuff, probes and so forth. Probably not going to need most of that but uh, just in case, just for fun mostly. And here's a socket set, a drill and some stuff. Like, uh, quite a bit of extra space for little trinkets in that box as well, if necessary. Here's a little plastic plate for putting on the bed to make it a desk. Here's a mouse pad if I want to play a computer game or so. Uh, household paper, toilet paper. Uh, could fit some more uh, trinkets and stuff. There's a fair amount of room here between the batteries and the boxes. And the uh, uh, air compressor goes there. Little bits and bobs and trinkets, plenty of space left there. Straps, I mostly keep straps down there, I always have. Most of them are on the other side or in use, though. Eh? And around the back, uh, here's the fridge, obviously. Uh, it's uh, connected to uh, the uh, box now, power box down there, and it's going to output heat uh, here. It basically goes straight up and comes around going in there. So, I've tried, like, you can feel quite a considerable nice warmish breeze coming out of it. It works excellent. Just uh, pull it right along the edge of the door when it's closed. It's, the door basically ends there, so it's pretty tight. Coffee, coffee press, uh, straps. I've shoved my power supply and scope in there just uh, for fun. I kind of it's so cramped in here, I kind of didn't want to bring those, but uh, might as well. Might as well. Uh, so, that's for bed. Gonna add some more of that uh, insulation material around here and on the front pillars of the rear doors. I noticed that's a bit uh, colder than I want it to be. Uh, newly filled 11 kilo composite uh, gas can, couple of pots fit right above that. Uh, I not really happen with my pan and uh, a casserole main is just a bungee corded to the gas bottle. I'd 
Uh, I'd like to figure out some better way to mount it, but it's really difficult to do it without uh, having it rattling around everywhere. Uh, yeah, not much going on. Here's my little IKEA lamp, which uh, I just put a little cheaper LED driver on so I can have it shine around. Pretty useful. Uh, well, it's not as blindingly bright as that 20 watt light over there. That's the main point. And previously I had uh, my toolboxes making up a bit of a chair here and the uh, wardrobe bag behind that, but that, does, that just makes it so cramped around here. You, the toolbox is basically end there, so I have no space to operate the electric or anything. Mm, oh yeah, I got a green shag carpet, the cheapest they had, probably because no one liked the colour. And uh, right, this side. This is how the toolboxes come. They don't really need to be strapped because they go right up against the door and right up against this. Uh, here I've got the full width of the vehicle, one and a half meters, to shove long, long things into if I need to, which can come in quite handy. And yeah, just old suitcase. Haven't packed that yet. And here are my uh, drawers for like a little uh, general stuff. Stereo is still there. Might be moving that back a bit if I can be bothered. No computer peripherals. Uh, this is a fan, but I'm going to figure out a way to maintain the ceiling. Like it probably, preferably adjustable like this. Just normal brushless uh, computer fan plugs into that box. Uh, laptop goes down there. Zip ties, trinkets and tat tape, allergy medicine. Oh, random bits and bobs. There's an electric heater I'm gonna bring uh, mostly for like emergencies. It can run off of, run off of the inverter, uh, it can obviously run off of the normal uh, grid. Uh, here's a little trash can uh, I had to take off one side. It's from these boxes, I had to take off of them, take them off on one side in order to fit them like this and uh, just drill the hole in this one and turn it into a trash can. I might as well. And, uh, Here's uh, 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 kitchen stuff, a couple plates, some spoons and forks and stuff, dry foods, and uh, yeah, solar system taking up a giant chunk of space there. And that's about it. Still have a file server underneath there somewhere. Oh yeah, I actually had a, just last night, uh, both of my laptop chargers in this box failed. Uh, the switching transistor just shorted, so uh, I had to merge to replace those. And now I'm using a, a QSK J100 watts boost converter to power both laptops. Uh, I added some heat sinking to it. I might even be able to have a look. It looks really horrid. Yeah, there it is, just zip tied to a big breaker. A uh, couple of heat sinks added to make it bear the load. And the laptops aren't likely to draw more than 20 watts each at a time, so it's probably going to work fine. But it really ought to have both power supplies just went kaput at the same time. Hmm. Huh. Uh, but yeah, now I'm going to have to close this up uh, before it gets too dark. Now, this is a bit of an issue with this vehicle. Uh, you basically can't open the hood much more than this because. Uh, yeah, you can move the seat forward a bit to get it perhaps 10 centimeters up, but you have to remove the bulkhead uh, in order to get it all the way open. Uh, so that's a bit of a bother, but you do get pretty good access uh, as long as you're willing to be outside. And I suppose that's uh, not such a bad thing. You have to crawl underneath the vehicle to get at everything in front of the engine anyway, so yeah, who cares? And I don't think I'm going to have to take the valve cover off. Uh, inside here is pretty uninteresting. Everything's standard. Some general wiring stuff, sunglasses, a compass, which doesn't work inside the car. Uh, I have pulled actually a USB cord from the back uh, to the front, which connects up to the uh, server laptop. Uh, and uh, I'm using that to charge my uh, internet box because uh, we basically have a pretty well sealed Faraday cage in here. Uh, my internet box doesn't work. I just don't get any reception on 3G or 4G. So I'm gonna have that here. Uh, I put a little bit of adhesive tape there so I can strap the an 3G antenna there if I want to and just have the actual box sitting in the driver's seat giving me 
internet everywhere. Uh, yeah, that's about it. Gonna finish up now. Cheerio.